later. Well, some of you are probably looking and thinking to yourself, what is he up to now? I had clipped back on these canes to try to get more production out of the berries for next year. And I thought to myself, you know what, let me try something different. Now this is a bag full of peat moss that's moistened up. I have another bag right here, and it's going to go up here on this one here. And these bags are just going to hang on this wire. And what I'm going to do is, they're full of moisture, wet peat moss. I'll poke down in here for a little bit of drainage whenever I get done, and then I'm going to wrap it up. But let me go ahead and peel back a little bit on this. You see I created a pretty good wound right there. But what I'm going to do is, see the cane is naturally already there, but it's not long enough to bend down and stick into a pot. So I elected to do it in this manner right here and see if I can't get a start out of it. Now I'm going to go down here to the center of the bag. I'm not going to hit the seam because I don't want the seam to split. I'm going to go to the side of the seam. A little hole right there. Now, you can see the water draining out there real quick. That wound, put a little bit of rooting hormone on there, and where I stripped the leaf off. And that slit that I created, I'm gonna take this here, I'm gonna shove Right to anyways. There we go. Slide the bag over to it. There. Now we're going to see if that's willing to take a root right there. We'll go ahead and get this other bag taken care of because I have another cane back here that I want to do the same thing too. So I thought to myself, you know what? Let's see if I can get more production than what my what I want. And something to do. Three little pieces of twine here. Now, take this bag right where the zip lock is. I'm going to go below that zip. Poke a hole. Three holes in here. Bit far, and then I'm going to take my twine, get it set up, and put it all together here. Never done this before. I was just thinking, you know what? Let's see if I can get some starts off of what. I think, uh, I'm pretty sure this will work. Well then. made that twine a little longer. There we go. <clears throat> now tie the outer edges. Kind of different, ain't it? <laughs> a 
we'll see if we're going to get a root out of that. Now, I'm going to take this one, do the same thing. You know what? I got the knife here. Just kind of strip it back just a hair. I'll do it that way instead of mangling it because it didn't want to go to, into the bag as easily. A little bit of rooting hormone. I'm going to slip this bag also. Right about there. Slide the bag to it. There you have it. Now, I think that'll work. Poke a few hose in there. Same with this one. There. Give it a little bit of drainage. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and wrap these up with uh, aluminum foil because the sun will burn them bags. Wish it wasn't so windy. this way. This way I can crimp the aluminum foil to itself. Okay, now let's get another piece of aluminum. Aluminum, no, 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 no. I think this is going to work. It's just a different way. But I was thinking, I'd like to get more starch off these blackberries. And I'm thinking this is going to work. There. To me, that's nothing more than a form of air layering. It's just, I think that will work. You know, I just get a little bit of a root to start up in here, and we'll see what happens. I've got a pot down there set up on a cane that was much longer, 
stuck it down in there. I've started blackberries. Matter of fact, a lot of these were started in that manner. Stick that cane down into a flower pot, pot and just uh, let it set there. And it'll actually take root and give you another plant. This one right here, I'm not gonna do that with. I'm gonna let it mature. But I thought, you know what? Let's give this a shot and see if this will work. I believe it will work. Something different. This one here is a, I'm gonna say triple crown. Yeah, triple crown blackberry. We'll see what happens. Now these take root. I'll come back here and do a little clip. And I'll have a start, and then I'll have a bunch of shoots come off of these canes, and that'll be my blackberries for next year. Like right here, the cane was cut from where I had uh, did a start on it, where I started it, and uh, it grew stems up here on this older cane. And there's a couple berries right there. I just put these out last year. So anyways, I got other things to do. Just wanted to try something different. And as I try it, share it with you. We'll cross our fingers and hope this will work. I believe it will. Well, my name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. Any comments or questions that you may have, I welcome. Y'all have a God-blessed day.